Hey, Andrew here. Let's do another not carbine test today. We're gonna to test Underwood's 9mm 124 grain plus P plus out of my friend's CZ Scorpion with a 7.72 inch barrel. Now some of the other tests that we did with this not carbine or brace pistol or whatever you wanna call it, have been intended to find out if a subsonic round could still be subsonic out of a longer barrel. Well, this is obviously not going to be subsonic from the, from the get-go. A 124 grain bullet normally is supersonic in 9 millimeter, and a plus P plus is going to put a little more gas behind it. So the real question here isn't so much will it still be subsonic, it's will it improve or degrade the performance that we saw in the pistol test that we did earlier with this same load. Is a barrel roughly almost twice as long going to give enough velocity out of this thing that it just comes apart and fails to penetrate adequately? Does it fold the pedals back so far that it reduces the drag on it and it penetrates way more deeply than it should? Let's get out to the range and shoot it into clear ballistics, clear gel and find out. All right, so looks like the penetration's adequate. Looks like we got good expansion. Penetration on this projectile is 15 inches exactly. And on this one, 14 inches exactly. Let's take a look at the projectiles. Yeah. <laughs> that thing's moving. You see how the pedals are peeled back almost to the base of it. That's way past what this was designed to do. That it's able to, wow, you can even see how the pedals got, because they got pushed out so far, they also got twisted around by grabbing that gel <laughs> as they're spinning through it. Get a close up here in a second, but that is really impressive. That this was able to perform as well as it did isn't so much a testament to pushing it really fast like Underwood did, but it's a testament to how tough the gold dot is. Let's see the other one. There we go. And oh, chunk came off of that one. Okay, <laughs> so more of the same, really. If, if anything, this is a bit more extreme of an example, but still the same kind of thing with the pedals trailing off like wads of snot or something. If we look at this real close, you can see here how these pedals got twisted around as the bullet turned through the gel.
Okay. Another bullet left the block. This is the one on the high speed. You can see it exiting the block right at the edge of the frame. Here's the second shot that I fired. Managed to barely stay in this block. Looks like the performance was actually improved slightly by the denim. Penetration here is, uh, let's see, 16 and three quarters. Let's take a look at the bullet. So we're still getting pedals right down to the base of the bullet, but not way past the base like we saw in the bear gel test. This is much closer to what you expect to see from a gold dot. So despite the extra velocity, the denim seems to have actually improved the performance a bit by reducing the amount of expansion. Okay, so first of all, the obvious. Yeah, it went a lot faster. I only had one round left for velocity testing after all of these shots into gel, and that round came in at about 1,500 feet per second. That's solidly into 357 mag or at least 357 sig territory. But is that a good thing? Well, this bullet is really designed for like maybe 1,200 feet per second, not 1,500 feet per second. And we can see in the performance here that it's not doing that great. Yes, on paper, it did better than it did out of a pistol. Um, that is that the numbers are closer to the numbers that we want to see. But you can see from the way the pedals stretched out and twisted around as the bullet spiraled through the gel that this performance was far from ideal. This is not what this bullet is intended to do. Now I understand that a lot of folks want to have faster, more, better, faster is always better, all of that. I, I get it. But it is my firm opinion that faster isn't always better. That this bullet performs better at the velocities that it was intended to function at. And I believe whether you're firing it out of a pistol or a carbine that this just isn't a good load for defense. Yes, Underwood makes quality ammunition, but this is pushed too fast. If you use a nine millimeter carbine for defense, and we've talked about this before, but if you insist on it, probably best to choose a 147 or 124 grain standard pressure, or maybe even plus P load from Spear. But that's my opinion, and it's worth every cent that you paid for it. If you think I got it wrong, leave a comment below and tell me how. I love to hear what you have to say about these videos. If you'd like to rent a high-speed phantom camera just like the one that I used to make this video, get in touch with Aimed Research. Their contact information is right down there in the doobly-doo. Have a great day.